So a week ago, I made a video on what Mario Maker 3 could look like, and I talked about the differences between what 2 and 3 would be if they continue with the 2D styles, but then I started to experiment with what a 3D Mario Maker would look like, and I wanted to make a video separate of its own uh, talking about this theory. If Nintendo was able to pull this off, I think this could be revolutionary. I think this could be as big as the original Mario Maker and giving players the ability to create 3D open world levels and have other players beat them according to however they want and approach the levels in their own way could be something so amazing that Nintendo has really never done before. So of course right now this may not seem like a possibility, but I have some things to share with you regarding how this could actually come into fruition. But before we get started, if you enjoyed today's video guys, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new to stay updated on all things Nintendo. Hit that notification bell to be updated whenever I post, and feel free to join the official Nintendo Land Discord where you too can join the chat and talk with all the subscribers about anything Nintendo and even myself. And you could also get your name put at the beginning of my videos. So Mario Maker 3 can't really go anywhere else in 2D unless they repeat a lot of stuff. If you noticed in Mario Maker 2, a lot of stuff was just carried over and repeated from the first game. and They only added one extra style. And if they do add another 2D style here, it would have to be pulled from a 3D Mario game, I would suppose, unless they go back to like Mario Bros. 2 or Mario Land. But I think that's kind of just going backwards and really not doing anything revolutionary. After all, they did have 3D World, which is 3D graphics and 2D. Why would you want to go back to an older style, which probably wouldn't be more aesthetically pleasing? Well, how exactly will 3D level designing work? Well, we have games such as Minecraft and Roblox. I have to admit it, yes, I'm bringing up Roblox for the first time ever. But it allows players to create kind of 3D environments and games within these 3D environments. We even have a whole game called Dreams, which allows players to create entire games on the PlayStation. So we have games with the capabilities and hardware with the capability to create such things. So I think Mario Maker 3D is completely not out of the realm of possibility. And I think Nintendo can even take a step out of the book of modding right now because modders are making tons of Mario stages and it's kind of the big thing to do. And even Mario Odyssey is getting modded stages which are just pieces of levels slapped together in an overworld, which is kind of what Mario Maker 3D would be, just pieces of levels slapped together in order to make your own little obstacle course to reach the goal. And I think modding is one way to look at this because if people are able to create this with mods, I'm pretty sure Nintendo can use this to make a tool set for creators in Mario Maker 3D. Now let's say this gets announced, this happens, it's put into fruition. What type of game styles could we expect? Well, I'm not expecting a lot. I'm expecting around two to three, and here's kind of what I put together. 64 would be your classic gameplay with basic level design elements, Galaxy for gravity slash planetoid creations, and maybe 3D World for modern Mario feel and enhanced graphics with lots of power-ups. Now, of course, that was a little quick overview, but we're gonna go through each game specifically and see how they could make a 3D maker out of them. Mario 64 would be pretty easy in my book. Placing blocks around the level would look a lot like Rainbow Ride does, and I'm using that level as a big emphasis here because all the blocks and all the platforms in that world are kind of just slapped into the sky without any type of orderly fashion. And that's kind of how Mario Maker levels would look, um, but maybe you could add backgrounds and stuff to spice them up. But you would place a star somewhere in the level and watch the multiple ways players can reach that star. Maybe you'll have different paths and alternate routes in order to get there. Or maybe if you're really good at speedrunning and parkour with Mario games, you'll get it uh, in a different way. But most enemies are basic Mario enemies, so not much work has to be done there. And Bowser Battle should be pretty easy to implement. Mario is just grabbing Bowser's tail and launching him off the stage, which should be able to be done anywhere in the stage. Now, my solution to this is Battle Arena. So in order to put Bowser down, you'll have to put down his boss arena, which is the giant circular arena um, with the spike bombs on the edge so that you can chuck Bowser into those bombs to kill him, since that's the only way to do that. And we'll be using this boss arena idea for the rest of the styles, and I'll show you what I mean. Mario 64 just doesn't have the high-end graphics that the other games do, so I think this style would be probably the one that's made with the most. You'll have that 3D full-range camera and it would just probably feel the cleanest out of all the styles, and I can see people going absolutely crazy and nuts with puzzle levels and different types of parkour elements, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. Since this is the only sandbox Mario that I put on the list, I think it would be one of the most unique ones out of all the styles because you can place a star anywhere in the level and have the player explore around and find paths in order to reach said star, and it's not as linear as the rest of the styles on this list. Now, Galaxy is the one that sounds like a lot of fun, but implementing gravity mechanics may be extremely difficult. But 
the gameplay would be endless. I mean, the amount of potential possibilities that you have with a galaxy and multiple planets would be crazy. You could create different sized planets with um, launch stars connecting these planets. So you could create the size, you know, really small, really big, how much gravity are you going to get pulled in from, and also the launch stars to connect them. Um, but you can also have pull stars and different power-ups such as B Mario and Boo Mario to use. Once again, place a star anywhere in the level and getting to it would be a lot more linear than 64. Uh, but I don't know. I can see it being also pretty complex with people making multiple different planets and multiple different paths to said planets. But Bowser Boss Battle would once again take the whole arena approach where you need that specific planet to fight him on. Because in Galaxy, Bowser needs to ground pound on those glass containers holding the lava in order to hurt himself. And if you don't have that planet, you can't really fight Bowser. So that's going to be the only exception. But a galaxy style would be extremely hard to implement just because of the gravity alone, but I can see it being so much fun if they somehow find a way to do this. Yes, it would be probably the best game style just because of the gravity mechanic, but we'll have to see what Nintendo has up their sleeves. Mario 3D World will return again, polished up and similar to how the 2D version works, but now in 3D. The camera in the game is what changes how this game style works from the others, because like I said, this would probably be the most linear uh, type of gameplay in the whole entire styles category, uh, but the camera would stay stationary and always face the screen in the same direction. So you can make a level with depth or more horizontal focus, but either way you'll be able to move freely within that 3D space, compared to the 2D version where you can only move left and right. You have tons of items that will return from past games, and you can just place down a flag anywhere at the end of the level, and voila, you're done. It won't be, like I said, as explorative, so you won't be looking for that power star, or, you know, flying through galaxies looking for the power star, uh, but you're just reaching the end goal, just like 3D Land and 3D World. Bowser here will be tough, however, because you have to put him on an endless track in his car, or in his Meowser suit, and if you choose the Meowser direction, you'll probably have to add his giant Tower of Bowser, unless they come up with a more creative way to defeat him. I also love to use Mystery House Mayhem as an example for this because of the green stars. So maybe you can even put green stars all the way throughout your level in order to get that final star. You have to collect all these green stars and maybe make like little mission based level segments like you can see in Mystery House Mayhem. It's a perfect example and I think just looking at these levels you could clearly see how a 3D world 3D maker would work and I think it'd be a lot of fun. But then we also have the games we didn't mention for extra game styles and they would be cool but I just don't think they would happen. And for instance let's take Mario Sunshine. You can use the flood mechanics to do different cool things, jump over gaps, spray water, and kind of shoot paint and ink off of things, but I just don't see them implementing this style, which makes me sad because Sunshine is my absolute favorite game of all time, if you didn't know, I've said it about a million times, but I love Sunshine, and I think that would be really cool, but Nintendo seems to just forget about the series all the time. I mean, look, they took the island completely out of Odyssey. We just have no cameos for this game, uh, but yeah, yeah, we have cameos, but I just want more uh, from my beloved Mario Sunshine, but I'm ranting. Let's continue. They could also do Mario Odyssey, but I still think having the ability to turn into any enemy you want is going to be extremely hard to put in a maker game, but extremely fun. Because not only will people create levels designed around Mario to finish, but designed around those specific enemy captures to be finished. So maybe you have to be a bullet bill to finish a level and move in a certain direction. Maybe the whole level is set aside to be designed to be a Goomba. So there's so many possibilities and so many things that you can do, but I just don't see the whole capture mechanic working well in a maker game. I don't know. I just think that's a lot of stuff to code and a lot of design to put into a game. And I don't even know if one game can hold so much pressure. You know, all these 3D games and being able to design all these 3D games, can one cartridge be able to do this? I don't know. I don't know the whole tech behind all this stuff and all the power and how much power it will need, but I can just see it being a lot, okay? A, a lot, a lot. Well, although it seems like there's a lot of work that would go into this, I think this is the next best step for Mario Maker. I think another Mario Maker 3 just adding one game style and everything from the past games won't really be enough to drive a crowd, but I think a 3D Mario Maker would be enough to be a game of the year, seriously, if they do it right. But like always, I leave it up to you guys. What do you think about this? Do you think a 3D Mario Maker could possibly ever happen? And if so, what styles would you like to see and how would you like them to play? Let me know all in the comments down below and I'll be really excited to see what you guys think. Thank you so much for tuning in today and like always, I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.